Inserting new data in Drizzle ORM is not that easy as you might be thinking, especially when you are going to insert a new record into a table that has one to many or many to many relation with other tables. So in this video, I'm going to demystify how you can do that with Drizzle ORM. So let's get right into it. Okay, I open up the project that we have been working on through this Drizzle course, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the schema.ts file. And as you can see, we have a users table, a post table, a categories table, and also a profile table. The users table has a one-to-one -one relationship with the profiles table and also a one-to-many relationship with the post table and the post table has a many-to-many -many relationship with the categories table. So in this video we are going to insert new data into these tables considering the relationships between the tables. So without further ado let's get into it. Okay, in the first step, we are going to insert new data into the users table without considering any relationship between the users table and any other table. So here inside the API directory, I'm going to create a directory called create and inside it, I'm going to create another route for inserting a new user, which is going to be insert. And then inside it, we are going to create our route handler. And here, the first thing we should do is to export a post function. So here I'm going to export async function post and then inside it we are going to insert a new user into our users table so I'm gonna say const new users and set it to await DB and import DB from the DB directory and then call the insert function and pass the users table so here we need to import the users from the schema file and then we need to chain the values function and in this function we can pass an object that contains the data about the new user so here first we specify the address which I'm going to say, for example, street one, and then we need to specify the full name, for example, user one. Okay. Just an example and specify the phone, which is going to be a random number. Okay. And finally, we need to specify the score of the new user and set it to, for example, 95. Okay. We don't need to specify the ID of the user because it's a auto increment ID. The database automatically set it for us. Okay. And then we need to call the execute function or returning if we call the execute function it actually just run the insert statement in our database and just return an object that says one object has been inserted into our database but if we want to fetch the new users object from our database we can chain the returning function so here I'm going to chain the returning function and then return a new response which contains the new users object so we need to stringify it with JSON function. So we need to pass the JSON that stringify and then pass the new users object. Okay, so let's save this and run our application. First, we need to run the Docker container of the Postgres database. So here I'm going to run the compose up command with the Docker compose file. And now we can run our application. So here I'm going to say npm run dev to run our application. Okay, and now we run the Insomnia client. Here, as you can see, we have a post request to the API slash create slash insert the API route that we have just created. So if I send the request, you can see it's return a user object with the ID of 25, which has been set by the database management system, a full name, which is user one, a phone address and score. So as you can see, the returning function will return a list for us, which contains the user's object that has been inserted in our database. So yeah, that's it for this section, inserting a new user without considering the relationships between the users and other table. So now let's insert a new user into our database considering the one-to-one -one relationship with the profile table. So here I'm going to go back to our VS code and let's close this up. And here inside the create directory, I'm going to create another directory called one to one. And then inside it, we're going to create our route handler. 
Okay, so in order to speed up the process, let's copy the previous post function and here let's paste them. So here we are going to insert a user into the user table and also its correspondent profile into the profiles table. So first we need to insert the user into the users table and we need to grab the ID of the user and then use that ID when inserting the new profile into the profiles table. So here in the returning function, we can pass an object and for example say the user id and set it to users.id returning object is an object that contains a user id which is actually is the users.id the id of the inserted users in our users table okay now we are going to insert a new profile so here i'm going to say await db that insert and then pass the profiles table here okay and then chain the values function pass the data the first item would be the user id so here i'm going to set it to the new users since it's a list we need to pass the index zero and then it has the user id so here as you can see inside the returning object of the first insert statement we say that the return object should have a user id which is going to be user.id so here you can see the new users contains a list of object that has the user id inside it so we need to pass the index zero because we have inserted just one user okay so in this way we can connect the new profiles object with the user that we have just inserted in this statement into the users table so now we need to pass other data about the profile so it has a bio for example let's say i am a programmer okay and then we just need to execute the function okay we don't need to call the returning function we just need to call the execute function because we don't want to fetch the new profiles object so in this way we insert a new user into our database as well as its profile so in order to test that let's fetch the user along with its profile from our database so here i'm going to say const result and set it to await db.query.users.find first and then pass the option object and specify the where api and set it to eq function and we are going to put this filter on the users.id and then we need to pass the new users index of zero and user id and also we need to specify the with api and then here inside it we set profile to true which means that we are going to fetch a user with this user id along with its profile and here we just return the result as a response of this api so now let's go to insomnia and test this api so here as you can see we have a post request to the slash api slash create slash one to one so if i send the request you can see the user has been inserted into the database with the id 26 the name is user1 and also it has the profile with the id12 and its bio says that i'm a programmer and also its user id is 26 which means that this profile belong to this user so in this way we can insert a new user into our database considering its one-to-one -one relationship with the profile table so now let's insert a new user considering its one-to-many relationship with the post table okay so i go back to our project and here in the create directory i'm going to create another directory called one too many and then inside it we're going to create our route.ts file okay so now let's go to the insert api and copy this post function and now i go back to one too many api and paste it here so as you can see we insert a user to the users table so let's change the name to user 3 and here just like the one to one insert let's grab the user id here in the returning function and set it to the users.id and now let's define a constant for it so here i'm going to say const user id set it to new users index zero dot user id okay so this user id will be the id of the new user that is going to be inserted into our users table so here let's say we want two posts for this user so here i'm going to create a list with post one and post two okay so let's call the for each function for this list 
So let's grab the post here. It's going to be an async function. Okay. Here I'm going to say await db.insert and then pass the post table chain the values function just like before and here in the data object of the new post we should set the author id to the user id which we are grabbing here from the new users okay and then the text of the post should be the post variable from our callback function here okay and then we need to chain the execute function and that's it so let's go back to the one-to-one -one route here and grab this query here okay and let's get back to the one to many api and let's paste it here so we are going to find the user with user id okay and with the with api we need to include the post table okay so now let's import the eq function and i think we're good to go so let's go back to insomnia and as you can see i have created a post request to the slash api slash create slash one to many so if i send the request you can see the new user with the id 27 and the name user 3 has been inserted into our database and it has a post list which contains two posts with the id of 11 and its text is post 1 the author id of course is 27 this id which shows that this post is connected to this user and here is the second post with the id 12 and the text post 2 and also the author id which is 27 so yeah in this way we can insert a new user into our users table considering it's one to many relation with the post table in this section we are going to create a new user that has two posts and each of its posts has one or two categories so let's get right into it okay here in the create directory i'm going to create a directory called many to many and inside it we're going to create the wrapped handler okay so let's copy the user insert statement from the insert api and paste it here inside the many to many wrap so here as you can see we have the statement for insertion of the new user and let's grab the user id from the returning function and set it to users.id and let's set it to a constant here user id and set it to new users index zero the user id and here we are going to insert two categories into the categories table so here i'm going to say const new cats set it to await db.insert and specify the categories table okay chain the values function and here we can pass a list which contains two category objects so we are going to insert two categories in the same time okay pass the list here and here we specify the first category the name of the first one is going to be cat1 just like that okay and here the name of the second one is going to be cat2 and here we should change the returning function and specify the shape of the returning object it is going to have a cat id which is going to be categories.id okay and in the same way we need to insert two posts into our database so here i'm going to say const new posts set it to await db that insert specify the post table here chain the values function okay pass a list here because we are going to insert two posts in the same time okay specify the first one the author id is going to be user id the user that we have inserted here in the beginning of this post function okay so let's get back to our new post insertion statement and set the text of the first one you just post one okay so let's copy that the author id of the second one is going to be user id as well and the text of the second one is going to be post two so here we need to change the returning function because we want the id of the new post that has been inserted with this statement into our post table so here we are going to specify the post id and set it to post that id okay the returning object of this insert statement will be a list of object that has post id of the inserted post into our post table so as you remember in the relationship section of this course when we are going to create a 
many to many relations between two table we need to create a joint table so here we have a many to many relation between the post table and categories table so each post can have multiple categories and each category in the same time can be related to multiple posts so here we have a post on categories which is our joint table that has just post id and category id inside it so let's get back to our many to many insertion statement and here in order to connect the post one to cat one and cat two we need to insert two rows into our post on categories table our joint table so here i'm going to say await db that insert and specify post on categories table okay and chain the values function pass a list here and in the first one we need to connect the post one to category one so here i'm going to say post id and set it to new post and specify the zero as index because we are going to connect the first post here and pass the post id and the category id is going to be new cats specify the first index okay and pass the cat id so here actually we are connecting the first post to the first category and here we want to connect the first post to the second category so i'm going to insert a new record into the post on categories the post id is going to be the first post so here i'm going to specify a new post with the index zero and pass the post id and the category is going to be second category so here i'm going to say new cats and specify the one as index here because we are referring to the second category okay and pass the cat id so in this way with these two records we are actually connecting the first post to the category one and two so now for example let's say we are going to connect the second post to just first category so here i'm going to specify a new object here the post id will be the id of the second post so here i pass the one as index in the new post list and pass the post id here and the category id is going to be new cat 01 and cat id so here in the third object here we are actually connecting the second post to the first category so all we need to do here we should change the execute function okay so in this way we are inserting three records on the post categories table which connects the first post to both two categories and the second post with only first category so now let's fetch the user on with all its post and also the category of each post so here i'm going to say const result and set it to await db that query that users that find first okay and here in the where api we use the equality function and specify the users that id and we pass the user id which we have got from the new users statement here okay and let's get back to our query we need to include the post so we specify the with api set the post here and set it to an object because we are going to include the category of each post into this query so here again specify the width api and let's move it into the middle of the screen here okay so now we are including the post on categories here again set it to an object and here we specify the column to an empty object because we don't want to include the fields of the post categories here and again just specify the width object and here we set the category to an object and here in the category we just want to select the name of the category we don't want the id of the category so here i'm going to specify the column object here and specify the name here and set it to true and here we have an error here and that's because we didn't put a comma after the column here so let's save this and put the results here inside the response of this api okay and let's get back to insomnia client and here we have a insert many to many request which is a post request to the slash api slash create slash many to many so here if i 
send the request, you can see it insert a user with the ID 28 that has two posts here. And the first post has the text post one and its author ID is of course 28, the ID of the user. And it has a post categories, which is a list for the post one that has the category with the name cat one and also category with the name cat two. So the first post of the user is connected to the category one one and category two and it also has the second post which is post two it is connected only to the category one so yeah in this way we can insert a complex user object along with its one to many relation which is the relation to the post table and also in the same time insert the categories of each post into our database which has a many to many relationship with the post table I hope this video has demystified the insertion statement considering the relationship between the table with DrizzleRM. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest inside updates. Have a nice time. Bye bye.